Hello everyone, welcome back to Travel 101 and welcome back to another travel advice video. So, I'm guessing you've landed on this video because you have a long flight coming up with a long layover and you want to know how you can sleep at the airport. As annoying as a long layover can be, there are actually ways that you can make it super comfortable and stress free. As a budget traveller, I have definitely been in this situation a lot. Picking the cheapest flight, which means sometimes a 4 to 6 to a 10 hour layover at an airport. So I've definitely learned a few things along the way on how to be comfortable and to be safe at the same time. So if you're ready for my top tips, let's just dive straight in. My number one tip is to set up camp as soon as possible. Believe it or not, there are actually loads of travelers who are in your exact situation. So the first thing you need to do is scope out the airport to find the best possible place to set up camp and mark your territory. The next one is to dress for the occasion. So if your flight has been canceled, that is an unfortunate situation. But if you do know that you are going to be having a long layover, you need to make sure you dress appropriately. Airports can get really, really cold, especially because they are covered in large windows throughout. So we suggest making sure you have a warm jacket or something with a hood so you can block the light out. The next one is to have snacks ready to go. Now, stores at the airport generally close quite early, around about 11 o'clock most of the time. So it's a good idea to have some snacks with you if you think you'll need a 2 a.m. snack or a 2 a.m. drink, unless you're fine with vending machine food. Now you can always double check this prior by having a look at the airport's website to see what time their stores generally close, but it is always a good idea to be prepared if you are going to be sleeping at an airport when the stores most likely will be closed. The next one is important and it is to make sure that you can actually somehow tie your items, your suitcase or your backpack to yourself in some way. Just to make sure when you do fall asleep your items are still somehow connected to you and you don't have to worry about it. Next is to set an alarm. Make sure you set an alarm with enough time for you to get to your next flight. Also you do need to make sure your phone has the correct time, especially if you've flown through time zones. And if all this is just too much for you you can always check into an airport hotel. A lot of airports have these available, so it's a good idea to check if the airport you are transiting at or having a long layover at has an airport hotel. Okay, there you have it. Our top tips to make sure when you sleep at the next airport you are completely comfortable, completely safe, and well fed as well. Now, if you have any more tips on how you can sleep comfortably at an airport, make sure you leave them in the comments below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. We cannot wait to see you in our next video.